Hey everybody, this is Steely from Rogue Wave Coffee. Today, I'm so excited to present you our March coffee subscription. It's a high elevation washed Ethiopian coffee from a washing station called Tashumi Jamachu in Jadil region. This coffee is so delicious. I had it yesterday. It actually reminds me of this coming spring. The recipe I'm going to use today is very simple. Just three pours. It's gonna highlight the candy-like sweetness in this coffee and also balance it out with some fruity, bright notes. Okay, let's get started. For today's recipe, I'm going to use a 15 gram of coffee to 240 gram of water. It's a one to 16 ratio. And the water temperature, I set it at 94 Celsius degree. The grinder I'm using today is a Easy Presso K Ultra grinder. I already grinded my coffee and my grind setting is at 8.2. It's a medium to coarse grind size. The dripper I'm going to use today is a Kefek flower dripper because it just matches the spring feelings this coffee brings to me. If you don't have this flower dripper, any cone-shaped dripper will do. If you don't have the pink ones, I think the other colors will do too. Okay, let's brew some coffee. First thing first, we need a paper filter. We'll give it a quick rinse. Wash away the papery taste from the paper filter. And it could also to help you heat up your dripper. Especially now, I'm using a ceramic ones, so this one definitely need more rinse and heat up. Like I said, I already grinded my coffee. 15 gram of coffee here. Perfect. Give it a little shake to flat the bath. Okay, first, I'm going to use 50 gram of water to give it a bloom. The bloom time is 40 seconds today. Start it. Give it a little shake. To make sure all the coffee particles, they are fully saturated and release the gas trapped in the particles. So it's gonna help us to have a more even brew later. Okay. At 45 seconds, let's do our first pour. For this pour, I'm going to do a big pour all the way up to 150 gram. As you can see, I pour very slow and gently and I won't touch the dripper at all. Perfect. At 120, let's do our last pour. All the way up to 240. Just like the second pour, I pour very gentle and slow this time as well. a little swirl to make sure the coffee beds they are even okay. because this coffee is very easy to bring out some like a dry notes i think it won't serve this coffee very well so i'm trying not to give it a much agitation the total brew time is aiming to two minutes 10 seconds to two minutes 15 seconds 2 15 perfect Give it a swirl. I smell tons, tons, tons of peach from this cup. And a little bit of chamomile and some dry apricot. Mmm, very good. Let's taste it. It's so good. It's bright, super sweet. I'm having this peach candy sweetness move into a stone fruit kind of brightness and in the end I get some like lemon citrusy acidity notes this coffee just has a little bit floral notes in it it's not like a lot but I definitely like this sweetness level it's a very sweet coffee and give me a very refreshing kick just like the spring the juiciness from this coffee is actually something I, I'm always craving after dinner I don't know why, but this is the perfect cup. I'm glad I found my perfect cup here. 
this brew method I'm doing today will bring out lots, lots of sweetness from this coffee. But if you prefer more bright side of this coffee, you can definitely coarse the grinder a little bit to bring out more bright notes from the coffee. It's gonna taste like fuzzy peach tea, less sweetness as this one, but still a very, very enjoyable, very tea-like, easy to drink kind of coffee that I can definitely drink it every day, especially after dinner. All right, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. We'll bring you more brewing recipes and interesting coffee-related content in the future. Okay, hope you have a beautiful day. Bye now.